Hey, I'm Bobby, and I'm going to show you how to make your own music app with AppMaker. This is the AppMaker page on webmaker.org, and at the bottom are several template apps. Let's choose the music app by clicking on the Remix button, and we'll be dropped into AppMaker with a prepared app. As you can see, this app is comprised of several distinct pieces. A cowbell, a snare drum, some waving jazz hands, and so on. These are all AppMaker bricks. Each brick has its own functionality and can talk to other bricks by sending them message over these colored channels you see on the left and the right here. This brick at the bottom is a metronome, which will send up messages on regular intervals. It's connected to the purple P channel on the right output side, and the sequencer is connected to the same channel on the left input side. Whenever the metronome ticks, the sequencer progresses. The sequencer is like our sheet music. Whenever it progresses and finds a lit up colored block, it will send out a message of that color. Let's try filling up the green row to see what happens. Since the cowbell is listening on the green H channel, on which the sequencer is sending messages, the cowbell will play whenever the sequencer progresses, in this case, all the time. If we fill in some more color blocks, the sequencer will send up messages on different colored channels, activating the other instruments in our app. Let's make our song go a little faster now by clicking on the plus button on the metronome. Whenever the plus button is clicked, it affects an attribute of the metronome, which is visible in the brick inspector panel on the right. Each brick has properties which you can change while building your app. For example, we can change the cowbell to be blue, or increase the volume of the snare drum. Now, Let's add some more functionality to the app. On the left side of the screen is the brick tray. These are all the AppMaker bricks you can use to create apps. In the basic category, we have a button brick. Let's try adding one. When I click on the button brick, which was just added to my app, it sends out messages too. But nothing is reacting because nothing is listening to the messages on the channel the button is using. So, I can change the button's channel to green H to control the cowbell. And, in fact, I can control any of these bricks, like the sequencer. Now, whenever I click the button, the sequencer progresses. But that's not really the functionality that I want. Let's delete this brick. Instead, let's add an audio clip brick from the audio category. This audio clip brick will play audio files from the web. Right now, it's set to play the sound of dogs barking. Let's change that to something a little bit more appropriate, like an 808 clap. Great! Now we have the sound we want, but the audio clip has the same problem the button had. It's not connected to anything yet. Let's use the last blank channel the sequencer has for an output. Notice that the red B is pulsing here. AppMaker has noticed that a brick is waiting for a connection on the red B channel, so it's telling you that it might be a good choice here. Now that a new row has appeared on the sequencer, let's add a couple of beats for claps. Finally, let's start the metronome again and listen to our song. Now, I have my own customized music app. Let's save it. and publish it. This is a URL you can use to install this app on your phone or give to someone else so that they can use your app. When I click on it, I am led to an install screen. For now, let's click on the Run in Browser button to see the app in action. This is the published app, and it will look the same in the browser here as it would on a mobile phone, and both will feel exactly like the app did in the designer. Now, let's open the Remix panel by clicking on the orange arrow at the bottom of the screen. If I'm using this app on a mobile device, I might want to send myself an email to remix this app later. But for now, I'll just click the Remix button to head back into the designer. This is a great start, but I've prepared something a little bit more complex to show you where you could go next. 
let's load the Super Music app. Here's what it sounds like. Hold for applause. You may have noticed that only the instruments are visible here. Most of the logic is hidden on the second page, which features two sequencers to give my song some variation, an alternating gate to switch between the sequencers every four beats, the metronome which we know and love, another alternating gate to switch the metronome on and off when the button on the first page is clicked, and a debug start and stop button, which is also connected to the alternating gate, but it's placed here to prevent having to switch back and forth between pages while tinkering with the logic here. Let's switch the app on from here and see what the logic looks like. Fun, right? And there you have it. Happy app making. If you create anything cool, don't hesitate to find us on Twitter and tell us all about it. See you next time.